Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I had time to make a video, but I wanted to take a time out of my schedule to introduce the newest member of my lab down here, and that is the newest printer from Form Labs, the Form 4. So let's take a deeper dive into what makes this thing tick and whether or not it's worth upgrading if you're currently using the Form 3. So of course we have the Form 3 and the Form 4. So a little bit of my background and experience with the Form 3. I just looked up all these statistics the other night. With the three of these that I had, um, I've got rid of one, but cumulatively across all three, I've done 1,500 print jobs, and that's required 700,000 individual layers to be printed. Those 700,000 layers consumed 75.5 liters of resin. And total print time across all three printers in these last four years plus I've used them is about 420 days. So I really pushed uh, the usage with, with the Form 3. And let's talk about what I wanted to see in the next generation of printer from Form Labs, the replacement for the Form 3. And really it just came down to two things, and that was print speed and build volume. I was totally happy with the performance of the materials and also the accuracy and the precision. I just wanted things to be printed faster and to be able to utilize a bigger print volume. And so the biggest and main difference for the Form 4 and where it absolutely nails print speed is due to its change in curing technology. So let's look at the difference between these two in that regard now. I've removed the resin canister and the um, resin tank from this Form 3 and I've put it into mode where I can jog over the light processing unit, the LPU, um, which is the acronym that Form Labs kind of refers to this. And this is the system that actually cures each layer of resin. So this whole unit here is on this motorized gantry and you can see the x-axis screw right there and that's what allows the LPU to traverse across the build platform surface area curing each spot where the laser has to hit resin to cure so inside this is a there's a fixed laser and then there's a galvanometer which is essentially just like a fancy uh, series of mirrors which um, vectors, re-vectors the spot point of the laser at the actual point of curing. And this is effective, however, the laser system has to mechanically move across the entire area of the layer that's to be cured. And the more stuff you have uh, on the build platform, the longer each layer is going to take. Now let's take a look at how that's been improved on the Form 4. With the tank removed from the Form 4, we can see instead of having a motorized LPU gantry that has to mechanically sweep side to side, essentially what we have now is an LED LCD screen below. On top of that, we have a series of sort of collimated lenses which helped accurately focus the light emitted from the essentially curing screen on the bottom. So there's no more mechanical movement left to right across the x-axis to cure each individual layer. Instead, it's all done in kind of a solid state fashion with no moving parts and the entire layer can be cured simultaneously. So this is a huge speed advantage. It's kind of a poor man's uh, the Carbon 3D DLP system. It's similar in philosophy to that. And that is the big technological change which separates the Form 4 from the Form 3. So after print speed, the second main thing I was looking for in the Form 4 was an increase in build volume. Here we can see the Form 3 build platform and the Form 4 build platform. You'll notice that the Form 3 uh, surface area is fairly square. The Form 4 is more of a 16 by 9 kind of aspect ratio. You'll notice that in the x-axis we have quite a bit of uh, size increase. Um, I'll put up the exact numbers but it is quite substantial. However, we did lose a little bit in the depth or the Y 
and that was a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping it would either stay the same or increase by the same amount as the X, but it is what it is. And the Z or the height of the build volume has increased about the same amount as the Y axis has, but I'll put that up on the screen. So we just went over the build platform change from the Form 3 to the Form 4. But now we'll look at the resin tank difference from Form 3 to Form 4. So you'll see with the Form 3, we have a tray and consumable mixer system. This thing at, uh, actuates back and forth to stir the resin that's contained within this. And on the bottom, there is a thin film which has to allow the LPU to continuously swipe back and forth against it. And you can see there's quite a few components that comprise this tray. Whereas the Form 4 tray is actually quite simplified. It consists of, it feels like a, a glass filled plastic, maybe a nylon complete chassis with just a thin film on the bottom. And that's reinforced with the sort of this uh, metal gusseting plate here. Uh, but it's a much more simple tray. The mixer is a permanent mixer that's just uh, swapped every time you make a tray change. So the tray system as a result is actually more economical and less expensive in the Form 4. This system costs about $100 and can be used, I think, almost indefinitely, depending on the resin type. And the Form 3 uh, tanks cost $150. So, you know, roughly a, th a third price reduction going from the Form 4, I'm sorry, from the Form 3 to the Form 4. And here's a look at the fluid or resin canisters for the Form 3 and the Form 4. These both contain one liter of resin. You can see that the uh, volumetric simplicity has been greatly improved from this bizarre kind of uh, cross-sectional shape to kind of a more uh, simplistic volume. And for the gray material in particular, the price has been reduced as well. Uh, a gray canister in Form 3 would cost $150. And the Form 4 version it costs a hundred bucks. So like the tray, a $50 reduction. So lastly, I wanna to just touch on some other just general design improvements from Gen 3 to Gen 4. You'll notice the touch screen is a little bit larger on the Form 4 versus the Form 3. And it also has kind of a nicer matte sort of surface finish to the display cover. Uh, one other thing that the Form 4 has that the Form 3 does not is an actual camera. I haven't really played with this at all uh, in some of the prints that I've set up on using the Preform software. Utilizing a time lapse via the camera system is something that's available to do right now in the current version of Preform. However, it does add some build time, and so I've been trying to print things as quickly as possible. I've foregone using this camera um, you know unfortunately it doesn't look like it's able to really move at all it's kind of a fixed uh, aperture or, sorry fixed position and field of view so I don't really know how functional it's really going to be but I would imagine they're going to have more opportunities as they continue to improve the firmware and the preform software uh, one other nice improvement from the form 3 to the form 4 the UV protective cover on the form 3 is kind of it just feels sort of chintzy and cheap. You can see how easy it wavers around when I just impart any sort of side load to it. On the Form 4, they've uh, added this nice, I think just aluminum uh, assembly, which kind of increases the rigidity of it overall and just makes it feel more premium. It also has this sort of soft close uh, hinge system. So that's a very nice touch as well. And this just the general design aesthetic going from kind of this white thing to this more silver look. It just looks more handsome, I guess. You know, that's obviously just sort of a, a qualitative thing and to each their own. But 
I do really like the uh, design aesthetic of the four versus the three. So that was an overview of the main design differences between the Form 3 and the Form 4. So let's kind of talk about the pros and cons to each system. Uh, for the Form 4, the pros are, like we talked about, clearly build speed is huge, huge improvement. The build volume, although it's not exactly what I was hoping for, it is increased in both the X and the Z. And consumable costs, to my surprise, trays and certain resins are actually quite a bit cheaper than they were for the Form 3. All right, so let's talk about some of the cons, and I really had to reach here to kind of come up with a, a list of cons. First off is price. Um, the Form 4 is 4,500 bucks. In 2020, I paid about $3,600 each for the Form 3Bs. I think they went up in price um, during their life cycle. Uh, and then the price kind of came back down prior to the release of the Form 4. But it is a little bit more expensive than the Form 3. It is much louder when running than the Form 3. The Form 3 is relatively quiet aside from the uh, heater blowers that go to keep the resin up to temperature. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all is going on with the Form 4, but there's quite a bit more fan noise. So it is much louder than the Form 3, so just take that into consideration. But to me, it's kind of a no-brainer trade-off and um, isn't that big a deal for me. Um, some resins, at least the gray resin, is a little bit different chemical formulation. As a result, the material properties are ever so slightly different. Um, however, I don't think it's a very big deal. And in maybe a dozen prints or so, I kind of was able to sort of get myself tuned in as to how the version 4 of Grey differed from the version 5 of Grey. Um, kind of the last thing, and we didn't really touch, touch on this before, the Form 3 and the Form 4 use the same Form Cure curing station. So if you have a Form 3 system, you can continue to utilize the uh, Form Cure station. However, because the build platform increased and differs now in size from the Form 3 to the Form 4, and the Z height build volume portion is, is greater, the wash station had to change to account for this. Um, and this is probably my biggest design gripe thus far with the entire ecosystem is the Form 4 wash station has this gasket system that wasn't present on the Form 3. And every time the lid opens and closes, it drags on that soft durometer gasket and basically just wants to pull the gasket out of its uh, like volume that it sort of press fits into. So that's a little bit annoying, but if that's all, <laughs> that's the only sort of negative in the Form 4. I mean, I think they, those guys hit a home run with this product. If you are using a Form 3 in a professional capacity, so time and speed and consumable availability is critical to you, then upgrading to the Form 4 is just a no-brainer. It will pay for itself in very short order. A great example of the productivity improvement is I've been working on kind of a build run that I've been printing and tuning and tweaking <clears throat> very subtly. And in gray on the Form 3, it was about a 13 and a half hour build time. In the Form 4, it's about an hour and 45 minutes. So the power of that is incredible. So instead of waiting until the end of the day to print a run, to run overnight in the Form 3 and then have it available for me in the morning, I can now print and iterate several times within the same day. So for someone like me who's in a conceptual design and development sort of role, uh, that ability to turn, turn designs multiple times in a day is invaluable. And this system will pay for itself uh, quite quickly. That's pretty much it, guys. That was an intro into the fo new Form 4 and kind of what separates it from the Form 3. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment 
below and I'll try to respond to all questions. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.